another gorgeous day here at Sugarwood and I'm guessing a lot of you are hoping to see more interior videos but right now how can I not be outside enjoying the yard a location I haven't been in this time of year ever and the gardens are really beautiful right now so my stepdaughter's coming outside we're gonna read magazines here in the yard I've already enjoyed my coffee this morning and I hope you enjoy just a little bit of the outside with me and I promise we will do more inside later. I'm glad I put the wire cages around. I can't be sure they would have been eaten, but we certainly have a little tiny footprints in the garden bed. But they look nice and healthy the next day. What I did was I dug the holes, I put some water in the hole, then I took the lettuce out of the pots, fluffed the roots up a bit, put them in the hole, covered them, and then a little more water. I did the same with the spinach, and I wish I showed you what the spinach looked like yesterday. It was definitely a little bit wilted, but once I gave it extra water, I did take off the foliage, some of the flowers that were st uh, starting on the top. So they look nice and healthy. Over here, I planted some, some of my thyme. I'm sorry, this is my sage. I moved the chive plant from away from the rhubarb. I still have some cilantro to plant. I think I'm gonna put it closer to the tomatoes just for a fun little mix. Um, have it near tomatoes for salsa, things like that. The strawberries, they have their blossoms. It's liking that it was cleaned out. Nice fresh start. We should start seeing some of the tendrils coming out soon. Over here, I have some broccoli planted. I'll put a few more plants out here. And over here, the rhubarb.
I was working today in the blackberry and raspberry garden that I'm going to be fixing up and putting a path. I just put this wood here for now just so I can walk on it because the wood came from over here. Now, this gas tank is an eyesore, but of course we need it. This is what is powering our generator and what I cook with. But I started to think, you know, what can I do? Can I do lattice? Can it be painted? And then I realized I loved making my wattle fence and I'm going to do it but again. This time I'm going to really take my time. The last one was out in the backyard for compost. This one I'm going to make really pretty and it was, it's going to take time. I'm going to, you know, find things in the woods and it could be months, it could be a year, who knows? Maybe I'll get it done in a weekend. But I thought I would show you a little before and like I said, I'm going to first find some of my base sticks, or I might even do some bamboo, something very sturdy, and then I can start cutting some things in the woods that are very pliable, and I can start making that. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Firmly believe a wattle fence will look perfect here for this cottage type garden. The section that had a very large compost pile of twigs and debris. Uh, we cleaned that out months ago and now we are putting some of the chips from the trees that were taken down. Uh, we had them ground the other day. This morning we have the stumps being ground down. I don't know if you saw the video of some very large trees at our property being moved are cut down. Today they're getting rid of the stumps and I thought I would show you how they're doing it. I'm gonna check out what everything looks like now. This crew is amazing. Like this pile was everywhere and they cleaned it up. And we're gonna take this pile and Ben and I are going to use them in and around the paths in the woods. Amazing. It kind of proves the saying, right tool for the right job. After I do this, I'm heading out to the yard. I've been doing a little metal detecting and all I'm finding are pieces of old barn. But one thing about living in a property that's had a lot of remodeling done, a lot of the good stuff has been found already. And I'm finding a lot of the debris, but it's still fun. So I'm going to go out and do a little digging. And then I was working on the little daylily area, or the big daylily area. Oh, let me show you what else we got. I'm going to skip around here. These probably aren't the spaces that they will stay in, but we bought four composite Adirondack chairs. And these are from L.L. Bean, a New England brand. And right now we have them so that we can sit and look at the mountains and listen to the birds and the bees.
And we're also starting to use a lot of the chippings going up through the path here. So this will all be cleaned up and a nice pretty visual spot. And Ben has his chopping area there. So I'm looking forward to doing this. But I'm gonna take you for a walk down here. I wanna show you something. I was walking back from the compost pile and it just amazes me how much of a difference the property looks within, I'd say two weeks. This back area, we're gonna keep it mowed, but we're gonna let it be more, a little more wild. So it will be a little longer than the other part of the house. But I just love seeing the gardens come into play. I'm right now charging the drone. I gotta refresh my memory how to use it, but then I'll be able to do an overhead when a little, when a few more of the plants open up and I'll be able to show you that. But this is a little part of my dream world here. You can probably see some of the black flies going in front of the camera. Part of living in the country. I am so used to it, but um, it's worth it.